I'm saying we will do everything for the Gazan people. Once and now, we demand immediate surrender, unconditional surrender of Hamas. If Hamas people come out with their hands up and clear their weapons, believe me, everything will be restored to Gaza. It is Hamas in Hamas hands. That, okay, if now I understand. Care... That, thank you for clarifying that, sir. I, I, think, I, think, I think we're actually on the same page here. You're saying that once Hamas leaves, you'll, you'll grant the, the, the Gazan people food, shelter, fuel, electricity, hospitals, schooling. And, in, and if they don't, and, and if Hamas doesn't leave, then they'll continue to starve and die in hospitals. You are defining for the international community right now collective punishment. You're saying until, until Hamas acts differently, the two million people in Gaza are going to be treated this way. And once Hamas acts differently, these two million people in Gaza will be treated better. That is exactly what collective punishment is. You're holding them accountable for the actions of others. That is the definition, the textbook definition of, of, of collective punishment, sir. Now, you may, you, you may accept that that's what you want to do, but this is absolutely a contravention of international law. Hey, God, it's me again. <laughs> and I'm confused about the state of the world because I truly believe we're in end times, God. I truly believe your people are more lost than ever. I want to talk today about Israel versus Hamas and what this all means and what should I be doing? Should I be afraid? Who do I support? Israel or Palestine? And if I support Palestine, does that mean I support Hamas and his killings? And if I support Israel, does that mean I close the eye to what they are doing to all the people in Gaza and Palestine? It seems like today we cannot even agree to disagree. If I say I stand with Palestine, when someone's going to say, oh, nah. So you support the killing of babies, the killing of young, innocent individuals. Or have we not forgotten that Israel has dropped 6,000 bombs on Gaza? See, the news only wants to paint a certain picture, right? But they don't want you to go do your own history. To all my young adults, this may be times of confusion and you may feel like as if you can't choose. But why do you have to choose when you can just stand on the path of empathy? You can say I support pa Palestine and also condemn what Hamas has done. The organization is a byproduct of hatred throughout the years. Because Israel is a, have been Holding them back. But I don't know. Seems like we gotta make a choice. And God, the choice I wanna make right now is to stand by peace. See, if I was based off the things I've done in my life, someone could not tell that I'm a Christian. If all Christians were based off what they have done in life, would they reflect you, God? A lot of people, they leave. They say, I'm done with you. Because your people don't stand by you. They talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. They pick and choose what to follow. That favors them. There needs to be a voice of reasoning, of understanding, of compassion. There are people who hold me accountable of my actions. They say, I expect more from you. How are we going to sit here and say that all these killings are justified because they're God's chosen people. The land belongs to them. But the innocent ones who are dying don't even know what's going on. Who are born into this earth without their will are confused. You're going to judge me because some man some organization decided to commit an act of war and now I have to die my people have to be judged what does that say see if I was somebody who didn't know God I would look down on the rest of the world and be like I don't want to follow him if you were doing this in the name of that you believe that this is your land or that 
you're God's chosen people? What act shows me that I should follow you? Because I don't see love. Don't see peace. I just see a group of people who want to eradicate another group of people. To all my young adults. Get to the point. We start asking questions. Do your own research. Do your own studying. Look from the outside. Because I don't believe in God because someone told me to believe in God. I believe in God because what he has done in my life and the relationship that I have with him and all the things he has done and everything he has done for me. In the times that I was low, he lifted me up. In the times when I was lost, he showed me a way. I'm not perfect. I don't try to be perfect. God knows my heart. But for you who are lost, the rest of the world who don't know was the outcome of this, continue praying. Because I don't want you to be the person who comes to church every Sunday, goes to altar call every Sunday, and not try to prove himself on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. As long as I go to church, I'm okay. As long as I believe in God, I'm okay. I'm a nice individual. I don't, I'm not gonna lean on one side. I'll be neutral. Cause I don't wanna offend somebody else. I'm not gonna support a certain group cause I'm gonna offend my brother. What happened to loving each other? What happened to caring for each other? What having what happened to I can support you in times of need. But right now, you need to calm it down. I can support you and say what you are doing is wrong. Cause that's somebody who loves you. I don't want a yes man by my side. See, God puts me in my place. When my pride gets the best of me. I say, you know, I can do it all by myself, knowing it was all him. He comes to me. Well, if you can do it all by yourself, then you don't need me, he says. And I go through a time where I struggle. And I remember why I'm still alive, because God called me from here. There is still a mission I have to do. There's a purpose I have, a desire, a hunger. To all my young adults, we are living in end times. And this may be confusing. May be hard. But all I can say right now, pray for both sides. Because at the end of the day, while you're looking at, at this video from your comfortable couch or your three-story house, your bills are paid, you got running water, your lights work. There are those who don't even know what clean water is. There was someone who just lost their mom to generation of hatred. That he has no idea why or how it even happened. There was a father who just lost his son. Crying. And out of that love he had for his son. Built hatred for the next person that did this to his son. These are the times we're living in. If I do not agree with you. I'm against you 100%. And everybody else who agrees with you. I'm against them too. And they all must pay. Those are the times. It's crazy, huh? See, Father, continue to guide me. I pray for all my young adults. Because believe it or not, we are the future. The kids may be watching this war from the news or any outlet that they have and they're being brainwashed to feel a certain way but God I pray that you stop that I pray you give them a spirit of reasoning a spirit of understanding a spirit of love a spirit of compassion and although you hurt me I will show you what I'm about I'm not trying to destroy you. 
I love everybody out here. You don't have to look like me. Black, blue, green, or white. Just understand we, we're all different. We all believe we need, we need to be free. We live in a world where opportunity is endless. But that doesn't mean everyone gets those opportunities. It's not a black or white issue. There's so many things in the middle. It's hard to understand. That's all.